to have this theatre sitting dormant for so long uh, and not being utilised is, is something that we really want to change and that'll happen mid-2017. We're in the process now, so the tenders will actually go out this weekend, so obviously for, for local builders and what have you, that's an important date. It is a significant piece of community infrastructure. Uh, it's a community building in the City Hall and, uh, and the people, people like Geoffrey Rush have graced this very stage. So it's got a whole lot of history and meaning to it. But once it's complete, we'll have not only the stage area back to its former glory, uh, we'll also have a flat floor, which will fit some 400 people in, in rows, seated rows, or 200 people seated around tables of 10 or thereabouts. Uh, and then there's a mezzanine floor, which will in fact have a glass screen. Uh, so it will be private, yet it can be also linked uh, through sound techniques and what have you and you'll be able to fit another 100 people seated uh, around tables or 200 in rows and then the atrium which will be a beautiful feature bringing modern architecture uh, back in and, and linking that with them with the Civic Square and that'll form the opening into this uh, this theatre so really looking forward to it the, pl the plan is to have uh, have it open mid next year so mid 2017 uh, so um, and, and looking forward to the progress we've got to this point uh, with uh, demolition and what have you but unearth some real little gems and uh, you know some of the art deco work that's been in here been done in the 1930s is well worth preserving and we're certainly doing that. <laughs>